Hey friends, it's Dimitri with Rubashka Streetwear. So as you could tell, I am surrounded by a variety of books. And this video is gonna be all about books, why I'm selling books, and the whole reason behind that. So if you're not into that, you don't have to watch this video, but if you like my other videos on this channel, then go for it. So recently, since I've been selling cool vintage items on my web store as a supplemental thing or supplemental thing to my general clothing brand, I have been really expanding what kind of stuff I want to offer to my customers. And one thing that I'm really excited about is generally offering books because when I was younger, I was a very avid reader. I would read two, three, four hours a day. I'd read entire chapter books like the book like this. I would get through this entire book within a day after school when I was younger. Um, I wasn't always a huge reader. That kind of weared off over time. But now I'm kind of getting back into it and I want that to be a habit slash hobby. Since I'm doing this business full time, I do have a little bit of extra time to do that, unlike before. So today I'm going to show you some book hauls that I got over this week um, some cool books that I found and I'll explain what I'm looking for how they sell and anything else related to books so the books that I typically look for are nonfiction books that's the f the first type of book that I look for because it has information that is historical and accurate or you know it's aiming for that and that's kind of what my page on Instagram is about. It's like a you know Cold War history page, and then it has my brand in there. Um, every other post, basically, that's how I do it. So if I find books that are related to that, um, and they're nonfiction especially, that's a huge plus. And I will grab them as soon as I see them, if they're a decent price, and if I could uh, basically flip them and make profit off of it. So the second type of book that I'm looking for is dystopian novels. I'll show you some of those. Here is one right here. This is my own first edition copy of 1984. I actually found this for free at a library. We have a library and they have a free book aisle and I peruse that section once in a while. And sometimes you can find gems there and I found this there, this book. Well, everyone knows this book and it's very famous. It's, it's been getting increasingly more famous because society is reflecting a lot of things in the book. So I'm super happy that I have this book. I'm never, probably never gonna sell it. Um, I, it's a decoration in my office and I let it sit on the shelf. I'm not going to read this book either because I want you know the binding and all that to be intact. If I want to read 1984 or reread it, I'm just gonna buy another copy and do that. This also came with this cool little insert flyer and it has George Orwell and some other things by him in here, which I thought was super cool. So these are the type of books I'm looking for. Here's another example of a dystopian novel. This is by a Russian author. Uh, it's called We. I read this book, it was pretty good. So this is a book that I think my audience would like, these dystopian novels. Here's another dystopian novel I picked up the other day um it's really interesting and i actually might read this one myself um, if it doesn't sell by then but it probably probably will it has a really cool cover it has a hammer and stick a sickle on it so that's very intriguing someone will probably definitely click on this on the website so i'm definitely looking for books like this and then the last kind of type of book actually there's two more type, types of books is just a general fiction book. Here are two fiction books that I sourced the other day for a great price. And actually, both of these have sold. So I'm shipping these out today to a customer. Um, and like I said, they're all Cold War related. So if, if, I, if it has a cool cover and I can, I can kind of tell that it's going to be Cold War related, like this one had a nuclear explosion and it's a vintage book. This one had a pilot on it. Um, and then I just kind of skim through it and see if what's it about. And these are both very related to the um, ethos and the aesthetic of my brand. Oh, 
Also, when I look for books, if they're first editions, that's a plus. So this one was a first edition. This one is a first edition. This book I got here is a first edition and it's in really, really good shape. I just love how this book is basically new, but it's printed in 1986 and this is a nonfiction book. Um, so yeah, first editions are very collectible. So if you are planning to resell books, that's a plus. Since I am reselling books that are Cold War era related, I am typically going to run into first editions because they're printed back then and they're not reprints. And when I find books, I'm also staying kind of away from books printed after 1999. The reason why is because they just don't have that vibe and that aesthetic and feel that old books have if they're print if they're newer books. So like, here's an example. This is like, I don't think I'm gonna sell this book, but I picked this book up because it's extremely rare and this is like a cutoff point. So I'm not really interested in books printed in the 21st century. I want older books and my customers like that as well. This book is gonna be probably in the office. Um, I could not find a single reference to this entire book on the entire internet. So this was from the Air Armament Center. It's a military book for Munis, munitions managers, so people that are managing weapon systems. <laughs> this is actually like an internal military document book, and it has pictures of missiles and stuff. It even says like the unit cost on some of the things. So this is like a defense contractor book. So I think this could be worth, you know, a good amount of money for collectors because I mean, you're not gonna find this book. There was a 2004 edition of this book on Amazon that was listed before and it looks like it looks like it's sold but it's no longer listed anymore and then the only other copy I found was a 1984 version these are it's called weapons file that's what the, what it's called and that was basically a declassified document so it was already uploaded on the internet but as far as I know this does not exist anywhere and if you guys can find it that'd be cool but I don't think it is it's going to be a decoration in the office Here's a couple other books that I picked up from, I get these at thrift stores, libraries, book sales, garage sales, anywhere I could find them. If it's Cold War related, I'm gonna grab it. This is actually a really good um, novel. It's popular, I looked it up, and the very first edition printing of this is worth like 400 bucks or something like that, it's something crazy. This is like a, a second printing and this is a paperback, so it's not worth as much, but it's in beautiful condition, no torn up spine, nothing like that. The covers are perfect. There's not major damage. If I'm getting old books, they are gonna have some wear and tear and that's shown and listed in my website. But I think really people are buying them. Well, some people are buying them because they're collectible, but some people buy them because they're actually good. Like this has good reviews on it. I looked up all of these books. They have generally good reviews. Here's another book I found. This is a vintage book. This book is dealing with um, government and it says the rights of man without force. So books kind of um, into that vein of like interest, I will grab in the cover, very Cold War. It says an eminent jurist explains why our only chance to survive the nuclear age lies in accepting the rule of international law. So this is a probably a dense book, but I'm sure someone will want to buy it later on my website. The reason why I pick these kinds of books also is because I know a significant portion of my customer base is educated from what I've seen in discussion threads. Uh, a lot of people are military collectors and surplus and all that kind of stuff and they're super, uh, I guess, geeked out into that stuff. So I know that there's a lot of people that are educated and I would consider myself somewhat educated as well. I am very into studying history, politics, that kind of stuff. So I know that they would be interested in buying a book or having it as a supplemental item with their order with t-shirts and stuff like that. Another nonfiction book, um, the better the condition it is, uh, that's also a plus. As you could tell, this one doesn't look like it's been really, maybe it's been read. It has almost no damage on the spine. Um, and this one's also first edition printing. If the book is way too ratty, I'm not gonna buy it because it's like, what's the point of trying to sell it? You know, there's no, 
EOS falling apart. First edition book, this one looks very interesting. It's basically talking about how the USSR was funding terrorist networks as a political tool. It's very, you know, set in its date. Like I think this is from 1981. So very cool, like historical perspective back then. The book is in solid condition, except the dust jacket has some tears, but that doesn't matter. Um, these ones are, go for a pretty good price online and I got it for a good deal. And I think someone will enjoy that. Here's a uh, fiction book that is the first edition. And these ones also are pretty collectible slash hard to find. And it looks pretty interesting. Here is a book that I got purely for an aesthetic value. I probably will list this maybe on my website, but I got it because it's honestly just cool looking. It's from 1950 and look at these illustrations in here. It even gives artists to the, or credit to the artist and it just goes through the entire book illustrating how our government works and it has the constitution and the articles and all that kind of stuff in there. And it has very interesting bite-sized pieces of information explaining how our government works. So I bought this purely because I thought it looked cool. Um, if no one buy, if I list this and no one wants it or buys it, I don't really care because I'm going to keep this on a bookshelf because it's a decoration. Like this one is I'll actually I'll show you guys another book that's a decoration one second this one <laughs> this one is like a technical manual book I doubt anyone's gonna want to buy this to read it because it's like this is a book that you would read if you are a technician at a nuclear plant or something like that I got it because the cover is cool and the spine, it just says nuclear waste. And this is sitting on my shelf. And it's, I just think it's cool. It was like, I don't know, a dollar or two. Another interesting book, first edition print, I think. And it is, this, this is like a, a perfect example of a book. I think my audience would be very interested in reading uh, crimes about the governments and drug trade and all that kind of stuff. And that's very linked in with Cold War, especially with, when Ronald Reagan was running Iran-Contra. All right, now we're gonna go to the last phase of books I'm looking for, and that is large format books, especially books that are dealing with weapons and military, and especially aircraft. A lot of people, for some reason, well, actually not for some reason, when we're younger, a lot of boys, they love to play with jet fighters. I remember I had jet fighters, I had Russian ones and American ones, and I love that kind of stuff. Oh no, the lights went out. Sorry guys, I don't really care to edit that out, but yeah, my lights in here are on a 15 minute timer and I have a clothes rack blocking the lights sensor. So that's why it went out, but anyways, these are a, a great candidate to resell. People love these. I already sold um, some of these before, but this, these have very, very detailed information. Uh, they have concept art. They have all the engineering that went into these certain planes, some color photos in there. And they have very detailed diagrams and technical drawings and other information related to that too. I need to show you if I can like stuff like this. People really love these. These are like books that you could sit for an hour and sift through them and learn everything about a specific aircraft. And also for me, this is the type of source material I am looking for because there are certain images, images in here that are scan worthy to use for, um, what's it called? t-shirt designs, I'll show you a perfect example. So this one, I, man, I wanna keep this one. This one's so cool. Um, I check this out. It shows all angles of an aircraft and these would be perfect for a t-shirt, you know, and remix it, add some other things like that. So this one's definitely gonna get scanned before I sell it. So these are basically a bunch of aircraft manuals, uh, small books. 
Then we have, I picked these up too a couple days ago. These ones, I, I see a lot of these types of books in thrift stores. Um, people buy them for some reason and I, I just always see these books. So I picked them up. Um, they don't, they're not typically worth a lot of money, but if you get them for a good deal, you could still flip them. They're very interesting. And this book specifically is going into mercenary. So this one's more of a rarer topic. I, I don't see that many books about mercenary soldiers of fortune. So that's definitely, this will probably sell really fast when I drop it on Friday. I already listed some of these books, but uh, the rest of them are going to get dropped on Friday. That's when I'm doing the big bunker drop and then also my general clothing drop. Here is one. Here's the types of books that are extremely popular. This will go really fast. Um, I sold a bunch of gun, uh, some gun books already. This one is really cool because it has very detailed, beautiful airbrush art. I don't know why, but I just drool over 1980s, 1990s airbrush type of artwork. It was a really cool style back then. And it's actually was used in quite a number of concept art for like military and stuff like that. Here's a perfect, beautiful example right here. Um, I actually posted this on my Instagram page. I just love, love, love that kind of art. I wish we still had it. And this book is super cool because it has a lot of that kind of stuff in here. It basically all of the gun guns in here are airbrushed. Um, and this one has these beautiful, they're called gate folds. Check this out. Look how cool this stuff, this material in this book is. Um, you know, even if someone was not interested in reading or buying books, I mean, you could like, take this out of here and paint it up on your wall. It's super cool. So that is definitely probably gonna go really fast. And here's the last thing I got the other day. Helicopter fighters. Um, people really like, I mean, people like jets, but then when there's attack helicopters, those are like insanely cool. There's just so many cool pictures in here and details. There's also a very interesting, cool thing about this book. It is um, manufactured in Yugoslavia. So this is like a prime example, 1990, of like the end of the Cold War. Yugoslavia is still a country and all that. That gives it a little bit more value, in my opinion, as a, a book to resell um, because it fits that aesthetic perfectly. So yeah, those are books that I look for and I really like to do this. It's like honestly so fun. I'm so glad that I'm doing this in my business now because I love books. I love bookstores, hunting through them and finding very obscure, interesting books that people might otherwise not know about or find about. They might be interested in this type of books, but I'm the one that's curating this collection for people and now they have a good resource on my website to find new interesting reads so yeah if you guys have any questions or comments leave me some down below in the comment section and i'll catch you guys later thanks